with the NBA season on the precipice of ending, focus will shift to LeBron James and subsequently his decision this summer, reports are suggesting OKC Thunder free agent Paul George will meet, or should, with James to discuss landing in the same location. The last time LeBron entered free agency it caused a virtual traffic jam as all the key free agents awaited his move. This summer that will include Paul George who may be a vital part of the next decision, CBS writer Kyle Boone's article focused on rumors LeBron James and Paul George would take their talents to LA. Boone further went on to cite Adrian Wojnarowski's ESPN draft special which suggested his presumption the pair will discuss their plans, that's gonna be a conversation or conversations George and James are gonna have once we get toward July, Wojnarowski said. WOJ also notes how comfortable Paul George was playing on the OKC Thunder with Russell Westbrook. Which, again speaks to the fact would the darkest horse in the LeBron race be OKC? Or does the cap situation make it a complete wash? Certainly players can be shopped, traded and or released. The priority for Presti however has to be Paul George as much as the duo of PG and LeBron makes any GM salivate. Haynes indicates Raptors are East's dark horse to land LeBron. Another ironic news bit from Thursday features Chris Haynes on Tim Kawakami's athletic podcast TK Show. Haynes was asked where LeBron James is likely to land. His dark horse answer was the Raptors. At first this seems absurd. Yet, if you think about it, it's not really that far out in left field. More from Thunderous intentions of the teams James is said to be interested in each has issues. The Sixers have Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. But, James has never excelled with a typical big man and Simmons isn't an off-ball player, plus, unless the Sixers hire ex-Cavs GM David Griffin how trustworthy will the King feel the Sixers franchises after this prolonged yellow gate incident. Houston and the Lakers are said to be the top spots James will consider in the West. If Chris Paul signs a max deal it opens up questions over cap space for James. Moreover, who exactly who will be tasked with being the key playmaker? It doesn't make sense to have CP3 coming off the bench for $35.4 million a year. As for the Lake Show they still could be in the mix, but it would require Paul George and a host of others. OKC okay, Thunder may still be James West Dark Horse. Certainly there are dark horses in the West not being mentioned like the Spurs or Pelicans which make a ton more sense from a fit perspective. And, if these teams are being suggested as well as Adrian Wojnarowski's comment that George and James are meant to discuss their mutual free agency intent then to reiterate, the OKC Thunder can't be ruled out. But, this brings us back to what I believe is the most obvious part of the equation. LeBron sees the Warriors as the team he needs to topple. And, after his first season of playing every game he's learned how vital rest is. So, it stands to reason he'll probably want to remain in the East. Therefore, the Raptors' assessment isn't that far-fetched. It's a squad with depth, three-point shooting, a mixture of youth and vets, all-stars, and a burgeoning defensive superstar in Og Ananobi. Other than going to the Celtics, which would only serve to tick off Kyrie Irving, the Raptors do make logical sense. at least as much sense as the OKC Thunder make other than needing to add some three-point shooting. This drama will play out shorty as free agency will be upon us in less than a month.